Hey reader friends, this is Mrs. Olson. If you chose this book, you're going to be reading Duck and Hippo, The Secret Valentine. It was written by Jonathan London and illustrated by Andrew Joyner. The publisher is Two Lions and the copyright is 2018. It was Valentine's Day and the birds were singing Tweedledee. But Duck thought, wait, I don't have a Valentine. Then Tweedledee, I have an idea. Later that day, while Hippo was busy dusting, knock, knock, knock. Who could it be? wondered Hippo. I know, it must be Duck. At least, I hope it's Duck. But when Hippo opened the door, no one was there. Then he saw a card and picked it up. There was a red rose on it, above a big red heart. Hippo opened the card and read, Happy Valentine's Day! Come to the park today at 4 p.m. and bring something for your valentine. But there was no name on the card. Hippo looked all around, hoping to catch a glimpse of his valentine. Duck! Duck, he called. Are you there? But all he saw was a white feather floating down, landing softly on the ground. Meanwhile, Turtle was snoozing beside the pond, dreaming about his valentine. Suddenly, he heard a tiny splash. Sploop! He woke up and almost rolled into the water. Yikes! And there, on a lily pad, was a card with a big red heart on it. The heart reminded him just a little bit of a pizza with a slice out of it. But there was no name on the card. Hmm. Turtle looked all around, hoping to catch a glimpse of his valentine. Pig, are you there? But all he saw were some birds. Tweedledee! Later, Pig was all alone, tossing pizza dough at Pig's Pizza, when she heard the bell above the door. Ring-a-ding-ding! -ding! She looked, and the flying pizza landed on her head. Splat! Then, she saw a card with a big red heart on it under the door, but there was no name on the card. Pig blushed and raced outside, hoping to catch a glimpse of her valentine. Turtle, are you there? Hush, 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 hush. But all she saw was the street sweeper. Meanwhile, Elephant was checking his mailbox, hoping to find a Valentine's Day card. And he did! Ho! boomed Elephant. But there was no name on the card. He spun on one leg, trying to catch a glimpse of his Valentine. Duck? Pig? Are you there? He got so dizzy that he fell on his trunk. Smack! He sat up and rubbed it. Then he held the card against his heart and beamed. Oh! Back at Hippo's house, the clock was ticking. Tick tock, tick tock. It was only one o'clock. Brush up, brush up, brush up. Hippo brushed his teeth. He put on his favorite bow tie and looked in the mirror. Then he smiled so wide that his tie popped off. Bop! At two o'clock, Turtle went outside and looked at himself in the pond. A fish looked back. It seemed to be blowing kisses at him. 
smooch, smooch, smooch. Then, slowly, slowly, Turtle started walking, holding a basket filled with doughnuts. At three, Pig was washing off pizza dough when she realized it was time to go. Scrub a dub a dub. -a. She put on her favorite blue dress and sang, I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love. Then she put her favorite pizza in a box and taped a Valentine's Day card to the lid. At 3.30, Elephant wrapped his sore trunk around a batch of flowers and anxiously marched toward the park. At 15 minutes to four, Hippo rushed toward the park with a box of chocolates and flowers, hoping that Duck would be there. And at four o'clock, everybody showed up at the park at the exact same time. But, where, oh, where was Tuck? Hmm. Suddenly, Duck leaped out of a bush, danced all around, and said, Ta-da! I'm the secret valentine. Then, she gave Hippo a rose, winked, and said, The best valentines are friends. Hooray! Everyone cheered. And they all passed around cards and chocolates and flowers and donuts and Pig's favorite pizza and yelled, The best Valentines are friends! Happy Valentine's Day! Wow, that's quite a little party they've got going there, huh? Which of those treats would be your favorite? The pizza, the donuts, the candies, the flowers, or maybe just the cards? They're all pretty neat, aren't they? All right. Thank you for joining the story with me today. Hope you enjoyed it.